Okay, y'all, it is finally here. The Brinkley Model G 4000 toy hauler with the 16 foot garage. And I kid you not, my heart is like pounding out of my chest to get to film this video for y'all today. And there's two reasons why. One, I'm just wildly excited to show y'all this thing. And two, there is so much to talk about. I am nervous that I'm gonna miss something. There's gonna be something that I forget to show you because I mean, this is just the most feature packed toy hauler that I have ever seen that you will ever see. I mean, this thing is just wildly incredible and I cannot wait to show y'all. Let's go take a look. What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound and if you are a returning viewer, I am still here in Indiana and I am actually at Brinkley's manufacturing facility here today taking a look at some of the new products that they have on the market right now or coming to the market and that includes this Brinkley Model G 4000 toy hauler that is just wildly impressive. Um, real quick, can we just like appreciate and take a second to look at how clean and how nice these Brinkley's look with the slides closed on them as well? like come on they look so stinking sweet they look so nice you can see them right there too at the end like look at that thing oh it's just beautiful it is so impressive and so this is the model g 4000 and i want to start on the non-campsite real quick um, i'm going to knock this stuff out real fast for you then we'll get to the other side the floor plan layout specs and whatnot will be on the other side as well and there'll be additional specs down below in the description of this video but as we start up front, just the absolute best looking front cap we have ever seen in a fifth wheel RV, doing really unique things where you have the LED light strips and these LED light strips have a diffuser built into them already and they have the cover on there as well. So they have that glowing effect. You can see how just absolutely stunning and aggressive this front cap looks. Like it is just unbelievable how nice it looks. You can see also they just work in such nice accents. Like instead of making that mountain logo that they have for Brinkley a different color, they just make it a different shade of black and it just sits in there so nicely. The Brinkley logo up front has the chrome on it and has that mirrored finish to it. Looks really nice. You have the Gen Y pin box up here. Definitely going to be the best pin box that you're gonna find on a fifth wheel toy hauler, fifth wheel RV, anything. And basically this is going to allow this as you go up and down the road and you know the, the rig wants to move up and down, this is going to absorb that shock right there. So this is basically acting like an independent suspension where it's connected to your pin box or where it's connected to your hitch. So really impressive. Also for this right here, your breakaway switch, they have a coiled style cable on that. So nothing happens with this getting damaged or you know, accidentally breaking or anything. So nice touch there that they're doing straight from the factory as well. And then just such nice details where you have the B up here up front for Brinkley, and then you have the model 4000 number. Just again, they just do black on black, so it just looks so clean. You can barely even see the 4000, but it's there and it just looks so clean. Down underneath here, you have a 5500 watt generator, and a couple things about this this is an inverter generator. So, one, it is only going to idle at the necessary power for what is for what the output is. So if you're just like running lights in your refrigerator and maybe one air conditioner, it's only going to idle for that usage of the amount of power. Now this is not standard with a lot of generators inside of toy haulers. So this means one, you're gonna get more longevity out of this generator because it's not gonna be running at full capacity all the time. Two, it's going to be quieter for that reason as well. And then also, it is a LP and gas generator, so you can have it run off of propane or you can have it run off of gas and you're going to have a, just an easy switch right back behind here where you can manipulate that to be one or the other for whatever you want. Down underneath here coming with two lithium 100 amp hour batteries. And so those are the Renogy batteries underneath there. You also have a 3000 watt inverter and just look at how nice this whole space looks. I mean, it is just so clean and concise. You have your hydraulic fluid underneath there as well. And then as we drop this down, I think there's a right here. Yep, this latch right there, slam latch door on that as well. So definitely worth noting that just makes your life easier. No annoying clips to mess with. And this also has the Dexter toe assist on it. So this is going to be something where it's going to have ABS 
on the unit. So anti-lock braking system. It's also going to have an odometer tracker on it so it can track how many miles you've towed the RV and it will help with sway control as well on the RV. Down through this storage compartment, it is absolutely massive. You have some battery disconnect switches here, storage light switch and a camera switch as well. And this is something that's really cool. They have QR codes all over this Brinkley model. So this is going to be something where if you're an owner, they have quick, easy access to scan these QR codes to informational videos that they have made for you that are within their owner's app. And those QR codes are gonna take you right to them. But look at how big that space is. And then I'm gonna open up the camera a little bit here so we can see a little bit more and that will also flip up. And you can see as we come around to the side, you see how this one is flipped up as well. Just magnet latches that hold that in place. Then you have latches to secure that down. And then this will just flip right back up there and stay up if you wanna open up this whole storage space. So you see that other door there. You have LED light beams all through this space as well. The lighting in this Brinkley is absolutely phenomenal. It's crazy. Things like a 65 foot water hose that will retract out. I mean, just wildly impressive. And then it will just, once you snap it like that, there you go, it'll go right back in. Also nice because it's going to use gravity to just drain that hose as you let that retract back in. And then you have your Nautilus water management system. You also have power switches for all your tank valves. So when you want to open up your black and gray tanks, there'll be power switches to open those up. You have light switches there and outlet here as well. Again, another QR code that's gonna show you everything you need to do with this water center if you need to know how to winterize your unit, stuff like that. It will teach you how to do that with the videos Brinkley has made for you. And going back to the black and gray tanks, even things like your cover for your dump valve on your black and gray tanks is clear. So you're not accidentally opening this up when there's already fluid there, not expecting it. You can actually see what's going to happen when you open that up. And I gotta show you this real quick because they have a residential refrigerator in there with a water dispenser on it. This water line going to that refrigerator is a heated water line and is insulated there. Now that is something where if you have a residential refrigerator with a water line running to it in any other RV that I have seen that I can think of, you actually have to winterize this portion of the water line, meaning you have to make sure there's no water in it and it's not usable because it will freeze because it's out here and exposed to the elements, but not in this Brinkley. So very impressive. Spot to store your sewer hose down underneath here as well. And you can see that green light. That's because your LED lights here underneath the unit have all of the colors that you could possibly want. So it's a red, they call it like a RGBW light, um, not light switch, um, LED light that stands for red, green, blue, and white. So that gives you basically any color combination that you could want for your lights underneath the unit. Not only that, you have this pullout storage tray as well. So that's a Moride tray there for pullout storage. And check this out. These are your owner's manuals that it will come with. Like, look at how nice those look and you actually get two of them. So you have a, you know, a edition one and edition two or however you would call it, but really nice looking Manuals there, tire pressure monitoring system. It has a travel fi Wi-Fi system built into it, which is basically a Wi-Fi system that is going to pull from four different carriers all at once and give you the best available signal from all four of those different carriers. And then up here, you can see you have the connection there for the Lippert ladder, and that is going to be stored down underneath here. Again, just so clever with the spaces. Open this up. You have the pull-out storage drawer there and you have a spot for your retractable ladder, spot for your steps going to the patio as well, all in a very convenient spot for storage. If you go look at just about any other toy hauler on the market, you will see all of that stuff stored back in the garage because there's really no dedicated storage space for it. You have a tankless on-demand water heater, and then down underneath here, you have a 50 amp power cord on a power cord reel, and you have an opening down through here, so you can actually run your power cord through that opening there, and then you can slant or you can close this door that way nobody can come and steal your power cord or anything like that and you don't have to leave any doors open and you can see right there there's a 50 amp plug right there that we're plugged into for power to this unit right now now some other things that is really cool about brinkley their owners actually go out and use these rvs and they also listen to customer feedback so between those two things they like they make a lot of changes and modifications to fit what people want and what just makes sense so one of those things being something simple like just adding a strap right here because when they didn't this here would extend slightly past the lip of this slide out so if someone accidentally left that open 
the slide out would crush it if they forgot to close that before they close their slide. So they just came in and made the change on there. Another thing I really like to see, if you look behind your slide outs on just about any RV out there in existence or any fifth wheel, you see screws sticking out everywhere. And they actually use these different style fasteners on here that are not just standard screws. So you don't have screws sticking out everywhere, which just looks so much cleaner. You have a rack and pinion style hydraulic slide out here. You have a six point hydraulic auto leveling system. Your windows on the white parts of the fifth wheel match the color as well. So something that's really stunning with that. Light here over this area so you can see what you're doing at night. And then you have Cooper H-rated tires with a custom Brinkley wheel on here as well, or a custom Brinkley rim. You have a Moride CRE 3000 suspension system and something I should let you know as well. They were telling me here at the Brinkley facility about how they actually take these units out and they are road testing them for essentially what would be the lifespan of an RV. So they take it to a track here where they have all kinds of different terrain, things like cobblestone roads and stuff like that. They put 40 GoPro cameras. <laughs> I don't know why I barely got that word out. 40 GoPro cameras on this rig, on the outside, on the inside. They put sandbags everywhere inside the RV to simulate weight that would naturally be in the RV in certain areas. And they run this thing through this track for what would be about the amount of miles that a RV would go through in its entire lifespan. And they see how things perform. That includes things like the suspension. So with the suspension setup, with the Gen Y pin box and the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system, that is part of the testing they did where they found that to be the best system to work the most efficiently for the most stable ride over the lifespan of owning this RV for this particular model. As you keep coming down underneath here, you have your air compressor here. This actually has a hose that's going to be long enough to reach all of the tires, not only on the RV, but also your vehicle. And then it does have enough pressure here to be able to fully inflate these tires to the pressure that they would need to be at, which is something that's important to note because some RVs come with air compressors, but they aren't actually powerful enough to inflate your wheels on your truck or your RV to the required PSI. 60 gallon fuel capacity here. So 30 gallons for your pump and 30 gallons for your generator. And then back here, you have a retractable propane quick connect line. And from what I'm being told is they're actually going to move the location of this as well. And they're going to move it next to your air compressor there, but that will be a retractable propane line as well. And the reason they're doing that from what I understand is just having one less door to have to open up to get to that propane line. Fully enclosed underbelly, heated water tanks. So you have the 12 volt heat pads on your water tanks. And then again, a light over this portion as well. And then as you come back to the garage area, really interesting here, the standard toy hauler garage is 99 inches long. They made this 101 inches long. And the reason why is when you load something up into your garage, there's a lip that this has to go up. So it's angled. And when you have this at 101 inches, the angle of the toy hauler ramp matches the angle here of this lip perfectly, making it much easier for you to load things like motorcycles in there. And that's just something again, where they just took that extra step to make your life easier, giving you just a two inch longer garage door to give you a perfectly even approach angle all the way up into the garage of your toy hauler. Obviously you have the patio here off the back, you'll have the step to get up to the patio that'll go off the back end of this garage as well. And a really nice looking metal kind of cable system here for the gate around your patio awning over the back here and then you have an led light bar there with the diffuser on it so it has that glowing effect looks really nice and something i really like as well see that yellow strap right there that's going to be your release latch for the patio door so you can actually open this patio from inside the garage you don't have to come outside to open up the patio and also if you just retract this gate system back inside this is a zero g ramp door so you can see these cables here these are going to assist the weight of the door. And if you're inside the uh, garage, and here's the example I give of this, like let's just say it starts raining, like it just starts downpouring super quick and you wanna get this patio up as fast as possible. Well, with a lot of toy haulers, they have the little latches right here where the handles are. So you have to go outside to close that garage and you have to latch those latches from the outside. With this toy hauler here, 
you can just retract this patio system back, the gate back into the door, and then you can actually grab this cable from inside and just start pulling on it, and it will lift this garage door up. And you can actually get your patio all the way in the up position, get it to latch closed without having to step outside of your RV. So something that I really like on that as well with that system. And then as we come back this way to your campsite, you have another retractable spot here with a retractable plug here. And something to note on this too, I'm being told that all of the access to things like this are just underneath the storage space underneath there. So you can actually get under there. And if you need to ever replace this or want to put a longer cable there or anything like that, you have the ability to do so. I don't know the exact length on this extension cord, to be honest. I know the water hose was 65 feet, but I don't know the exact length on that extension cord, but it's pretty dang long. So love that. That is just so stinking cool. Again, just a beautiful elegant look on the outside you have the square frameless windows that everybody has now had to copy in the rv industry because it just looks so dang good see here where the you know they um, basically get the white color into the window to match the decal package on this brinkley toy hauler it is just so impressive now as we come to this side you have side cameras already installed on your brinkley so you have side cameras there had a backup camera on the back as well and again just the graphics just look so dang good on this model up front you're going to have 30 pound propane bottle you also could put a 40 pound propane bottle in there as well if you would like and then it gets really impressive through here let's see open this up you have your pass-through storage space lots to talk about in here i have everything open so you can kind of see it but you can see you have a three level filtration system in here you can see all of your water lines now on Fifth wheel RVs, they normally use plastic corner mounts for all of your water lines or any like connection points. They use plastic. They're actually using brass fittings on your water lines in here. Very impressive. Your heat ducting here also is a lot thicker than your heat ducting on most fifth wheel RVs where that's kind of like almost like a duct tape layer on the outside of that. Very impressive as well. And you can see they give you open access to everything, all your heating ducting and all your water lines. And they're not afraid for you to see that because they feel that they've done a good job with it and they want you to have quick, easy access to it. So that'll close back there, magnet latch that that attaches to. And this will slide here. Then this slides over and you have access to your Rockford Fosgate amplifiers. Now on this toy hauler, you have 14 speakers and two subwoofers. So it is just absolutely insane. The audio system on here, it was specifically designed for this toy hauler. So it sounds incredible inside and out. It is just absolutely wild and you'll absolutely love it. Underneath here you have, let's see, storage space down here, another pullout storage tray. So three pullout storage trays in total, just incredibly cool. And then you have access here to feed things like if you have an extension cord over here, plugged into an outlet in this area. Um, actually, sorry, outlets are down underneath here. Um, you can run that down through there and keep these doors closed. Outdoor shower connection. So you have a hot and cold water source here on your campsite. Great for even just simple things like washing off your steps or whatever before you load them up into your toy hauler. Sound controls all through here and you have manual controls for like your lights, for your awnings, your slide outs and everything there. So love that plus a USB port here for charging your phone outside. Okay, so that is, gosh, there's just so much to talk about. I hope I didn't miss anything on the outside. That's just about everything though. So let's go ahead and hop inside and take a look at what's going on inside. Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about and I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. And as we step inside here, I almost forgot your little mini refrigerator down underneath here. Now, the cool thing about this as well 
you actually can set this to below freezing temperatures and it is a fridge and freezer. So there is ice all back in here right now because I think they have it set to 28 degrees. So that will get down to freezer temperatures even if you want it to, which is not common with what you usually see from outdoor refrigerators. As we come inside, this step is pretty unique because it does flip over like that. So that will get any you know debris and whatnot off your step before you load it into your door there. And then you have the safety rail here that extends all the way down to the bottom of the step, a keypad entry on this. And as we open the door, just very, very impressive. See the floor plan layout and the specs here. Now, if you fast forward to this portion of the video, definitely recommend that you go back and watch some other stuff prior to this moment, because there was a whole heck of a lot of cool things on the outside of this toy hauler that I hope you didn't miss. So you can see here the floor plan layout, 16 foot garage. It is 17,674 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating is 21,500 pounds with a 3,530 pound hitch weight, 45 feet, two inches long. And this makes this thing very heavy. There's a lot of other toy haulers out there in the market that are, you know, 45, 46 feet long. And they usually have a 20,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. So this is 1,500 pounds higher than what we normally see and that's because of just the quality of the build components in here it is just so next level um a couple other things i can't just glance over real quick um back behind here it's going to be very hard to show but you have the screen defender so this is a metal guard to protect your screen you have the screenshot and the screen assist so that is going to allow you to not only not have to reach for this little handle here but you can just pull down on this at any point and that screen door will just close on its own behind you. So the practical application of this is if you're like walking out of your door and your hands are full, you can just bump this bar with your elbow. It will release the screen door and it will close behind you so that bugs don't get into your RV. Very practical. And as we come in here, let's get this cabinet door closed. Just look at the space in here, y'all. And there is so much to talk about. I mean, it is just unreal, the amount of things that can be talked about. It's so cool too that the owners, you know, they take these RVs out and they use them. They use them with their families, they use them with their kids. So they get so much input just from their own use and their family's uh, ideas and what they would like to see. And then they just really, really listen to y'all as consumers as well. They've made a lot of changes because of comments on videos like this. So definitely, you know, give your feedback. They love to hear new ideas. If you have any ideas that you think would be cool or anything that maybe you don't like or something you really do like, let us know down below in the comments because they will see them. Right away, I mean, just a statement piece with the light fixture here over the island. It looks absolutely stunning. I love that there. You have a four cushion sofa, and we're just gonna kind of start this way and work our way around the living room area. So you have a four cushion sofa here. You have hidden storage down underneath here. It's strut assisted, so it stays up on its own. You have the outlets and USB ports plus USB type C connections back behind here, and these just, pop down into that space when you don't need them. You have wood framed out windows that look so clean. And then you have the pull down blackout shade with the reflective layer on the other side for added insulation. And that'll just be a blackout shade on this window. And then on these windows that open up, you'll have a bug screen as well and the privacy shade that comes down from the top. So you have both options. You can see they magnetize together and then you can detach them. And so you'll have those bug screens on any windows that open. And the advantage to these square frameless windows is they open up about six inches versus three inches on what we used to see for more of those rounded frameless windows. Up in your slide out, you can see your lights here. They are like flush with the ceiling essentially. So they don't have that dip down puck lighting. So it looks really nice. And then you have four recliners here in this area, heat and massage in the recliners. And these are all going to be within you know, this viewing angle here of your TV. Um, going back this way, you have the same storage through here and then your flooring in the slide out matches the flooring with the rest of the fifth wheel so it's seamless and they do that in both your sofa slide and in your kitchen slide. Now the last time I filmed the Model G 3500, I completely missed the hidden storage back behind here because that is so well hidden, it's just ridiculous. Soft closed cabinet doors. Um, let's see if we can, oh, we don't have power to the, um, whatever it is, to the 
goodness gracious, the fireplace. They might have flipped the breaker on it or something. But look, you even have the Brinkley logo in the fireplace. Like, they're really going above and beyond to get the branding on point on every part of this unit. And again, more hidden storage. I mean, just look at that. If you look at that piece there, aside from seeing the little gap down underneath here, which at eye level, this is eye level for me right now being 6'2". You cannot see that. There is no way that you would know that storage is here. So maybe you travel with kids and whatnot and you want to hide your alcohol well or something along those lines. I mean, that is a great spot for hidden storage. It really is. You have a Philips TV here. This is gonna be about a 50 inch screen TV. You also have the shelf up here for decor. And then going back to your island, you have these bar stools right here with a dog bowl or pet bowl. It doesn't have to be just for dogs down underneath here as well. So you pull this out and you have two pet bowls that will drop down. And if you don't want that, don't need that. It just tucks out of the way. It's like it was never there. Also have heat vents here underneath the island. So no floor vents for your heat. And look at the bar stools that you get. Just nice padding on there. Nice, almost custom look with the furniture. Cause you can see even here, like just stitching that I've never seen in RV furniture before. So it's from the Thomas Paine collection from Lipper, but this looks like something I have only seen in Brinkley. You have solid surface countertops in here. So nice, good solid surface countertop. And then it just keeps getting better. Cause as you go back into this kitchen space, I think the first thing I really need to show you is this waterfall countertop. Cause if you haven't seen this, this is wildly impressive. And we'll see if I can do this with one hand. I can usually find a way to do most things with one hand. And I probably can figure this out too. Oh yeah, cause it's strut assisted. So they just make it so easy for me, seriously. They didn't have to make it that easy for me. See underneath here, you just gotta get this bracket right there and boom, look at that. Look at all the countertop space that you get when you flip that up. I mean, just a brilliant idea to have this in here, give you that additional countertop space. That is just wildly impressive. Again, it's strut assisted too, so it's not gonna be like wildly difficult for you or anything. You even have some shelving hidden back behind here as well. And I guess it's not really shelving. It's just kind of how the island was built. But nonetheless, just such a wild concept there. And it is just so stinking cool what they did with that. And just, I mean, goodness, just think of like the hosting you can do with all this countertop space, whether it's beverages or food or whatever. Just so cool. So stinking cool. Let's get this back down. And so I'm going to push that back in. And then that will drop down like so. Very easy, again, it's strut assisted, so it just kind of stays up on its own. It's not hard at all. And then you get that down here, and then all you have to do is push this in right there. It's pretty heavy because of this uh, countertop material. But you push that in, and boom, you're back to a waterfall style island. So absolutely love that. I'm gonna get the door closed behind me so I don't have so much natural light coming in. Okay, now it just keeps getting better come here to this spot and you're going to have all this pantry storage and look at this it just keeps going i mean come on look at all that pantry storage in a kitchen like this this is this i mean this is unheard of it's unreal and you have all of the adjustable shelving so you can make this kind of whatever you want three pull out drawers there the way they explain it at brinkley is like they design a lot of their storage not to make you shop and accommodate for what the storage is, but so you can make the storage space accommodate to what your needs are. So they have all this adjustable shelving in here so you can make it get, <laughs> I'm talking too fast. So you can make it exactly what you want. I'm just too excited, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. And then in this space, love this oven that they give you. This is the Furion stove and oven, all black, looks incredible. It's 24 inches wide, so a huge cooking surface there, window there as well. And then plenty big enough for whatever you may need. And you even get the additional storage underneath here. Which then brings me to the construction. All of your cabinets and drawers, or sorry, just I guess drawers, have this dovetail construction. And this is a solid wood drawer there. It's not like a particle board. Very, very impressive. Some of the best quality construction you'll see. And then you have all this through there as well. You're going to have a residential size microwave and this also has an air fryer function to it as well. So very nice getting that. These are all 
or the refrigerator and microwave or GE appliances. Storage space up there, soft closed cabinets. And then as we come back to your island, just check this out. I mean, it is so stinking cool. It just keeps getting better. Two pull out trash cans. So you could have trash and recycling if you'd like. And then just wait. Right here, you have separation between these two spaces. So if you wanna have like a junk drawer or something like that, you can have a spot to like hide stuff back through there. And then soft closed drawers as well. Open this up. Your cutting board here has a hole in it right above the trash can. So if you use this as a cutting board, you can just scrape everything right into the trash there. Or if there's any liquids or anything that collect in here, they'll just run straight down into the trash. Like just brilliant. Absolutely love that. It's so cool. And then keep going down underneath this space here. You have two pull out drawers. Again, dovetail construction on those solid wood, soft clothes when you push those back in and a spot for baking sheets through here as well. You have a drawer here that pulls out. This is where your paper towel holder will be. You can leave your paper towels in here or you can take them out and put them on the countertop. Stinging cool as well. And then that will go back in that space there. Soft close on those. And then that brings me to the refrigerator, which your refrigerator is a GE refrigerator. A couple things to know about this. I've seen the GE refrigerator in some other brands, but I've never seen it in all black until this Brinkley. Look through here, it's a nice French style door refrigerator with a water dispenser in here. And again, if you didn't watch the outside portion, you have a heated water line going to the water supply for this fridge. So you don't have to winterize your unit to still be able to use the water functions on the refrigerator. Something I haven't seen in any other RV that has those residential refrigerators with either an ice maker or a water dispenser, stuff like that. Usually you have to winterize that water line because it's out and exposed and they don't heat the line. Down underneath here, you do have an ice maker as well. And then up here, you have storage space back through there. Then coming to this area, it just continues to get better. I'm gonna start from the top and work my way down because you have the Travelfy Wi-Fi router up there they have really flexible plans, so plans at multiple different data rates, depending on what you need. And then they also are going to connect to four different carrier providers. So they'll just help pick the best service provider for wherever you're currently at. And they also are going to have the ability to cancel your plan or just say, hey, I'm not traveling in my RV for the next three months. Like, just turn it off for the next three months. And so you just pay for the months that you need it. Really nice there, really good Wi-Fi system that you can use. They also have the spot to connect the Wi-Fi router for WineGuard up there above the steps, but that TravelFi Wi-Fi is definitely gonna be a superior option that it already comes with on this toy hauler. Storage space through here, again, adjustable shelving, so you can kind of make the space what you want it to be. And then little touches, like they put these rubber stoppers here, so your handle there on the cabinet doesn't bash into that wood. But speaking of wood, I also forgot to mention like your balances on here on your slide outs. If you're someone that is really nitpicky and pays attention to detail, I mean, it is just flawless. There are no staples anywhere. There's no putty put anywhere to cover up staple holes or nail holes or anything like that. Like it is just a different level of quality. And they use a single piece of wood for the top of this balance on the slide out or fascia on the slide out, I mean. And most brands, they have a big blocky chunk of something right here that is basically blocking your vision from seeing where they use two different pieces of wood that don't come perfectly together and they, they then cover it with another piece so that they don't have to use one big long piece and give you a seamless look like what you get in Brinkley and it just looks amazing. All right, let me try to stay focused and stay on topic here. Storage space through here, again, all adjustable shelving, make the space what you want it to be. And then if you didn't see it already, you have hidden storage underneath here, LED light beams shining down into the space. Spot for all your utensils in here and you have spot underneath here for your knives. See it has a magnet in there as well. And just such a cool idea. Plus you have the LED light bars that are just shining right down into that space. So it just looks so good. And then when you have them up, those LED light bars are still shining down on your countertop area. Really nice looking matte gold faucet. Just so cool. Window here in the kitchen area as well. It will open up so it does have the bug screen and the privacy shade. So you can get a nice cross breeze with that window open. 
charcoal stainless steel faucet or it's not faucet sorry sink and just looks so clean even has like the black finishes for your drain there I mean every attention to detail was given even something like this your drying rack instead of getting a stainless steel cover one or colored one like everybody else no they have a black one because that's what Brinkley does they use black not stainless steel so it's just like they do everything to make things look the way that they should again down underneath here not plastic you're getting a metal spot here to hold things like sponges under here just completely clean looking storage it is so well done underneath here again your water lines as well they're going to have shut off valves for these water lines so if you did have a water leak you don't have to turn off the water to the whole unit you can just turn off an individual water line and again brass finishings for all your corner connections on these water lines well whereas uh, everybody else in the industry uses plastic these little stoppers there again to protect your stuff magnet latches on your cabinet doors soft close and then you'll have four pull out drawers here and I think there was something else in here I wanted to show. Maybe I'm forgetting. Okay, those are all the four of the same size drawers. Again, dovetail construction on those. And underneath here, you have open storage space. Also, your solid surface countertop here, same material for your backsplash in the kitchen. I mean, that is absolutely insane. That is crazy. That is not light. I mean, part of what makes this toy hauler so heavy, but just next level quality um, right here you're going to have outlets usb ports usb type c connection and then you have your ac up top here it's going to be ducted through this area it's going to be a nice quiet ac with heat pumps and all three air conditioners so you have electric heat sources with your air conditioners you have speakers up here in the ceiling you can see how big those speakers are and it has again that rockford fosgate audio system with 14 speakers in total and two subwoofers so just wildly impressive max air vent fan up over your kitchen and then that is everything in this living space let's go back to the garage you have a double insulated garage floor so if you want to use this for a bedroom for an office anything like that a lot of times in toy haulers the flooring gets really cold because there's not good insulation under there they actually double insulate this flooring underneath here and what that means is they have a heated cavity between the two layers of insulation there. So essentially this is having somewhat of like a heated floor because that cavity between the two layers of insulation is heated. So it's going to prevent any sort of, you know, cold, um, what's the, any sort of cold element getting up to that subfloor there and making that floor cold for you in this garage portion. So that is something that is great if you plan on using this as a bedroom, as an office, anything like that. But because it is a 16 foot garage, if you have things like a side-by-side, -side, a four-seater side-by-side or anything along those lines, you'll be able to fit it in this space. It is absolutely massive. Come back to the patio, really nice things like you have the white patio doors here that just look so good. It's just on brand with Brinkley instead of having the black going with the white. And then they do a gray floor back in here because it just looks brighter. It doesn't look as dirty either. And it's just nice. This here is going to open up and you'll have strut assisted storage space down underneath here. So this is where you can see your electrical cable down through here. That's what I was talking about with the retractable cable. You can get back to that portion there. And if you want to change that cable out or make it a larger size, smaller size, whatever you want, you can adjust that and change that. Love that this is strut assisted because this door is heavy. I mean, it's a metal door and it is not light. You can hear that as it slams shut. And then they have this tie down system. It is a it's screwed into the frame, so it's all supported by the frame there. And then it's gonna come with eight different rings that you can use in this space to tie down your toys however you want for whatever you have back in the space. And then something that is really unique in this toy hauler as well is that in this area, you have wood framed out windows in the same blind system that you have on all your other windows, whereas most toy haulers typically are just going to have some sort of, you know, less expensive blind system back in their garage you have your tv up here that will drop down you have a loft up over this space it will come with a ladder to get up to that loft see speakers in the ceiling ac in the ceiling you have a half bath back here as well so you'll have porcelain foot flush toilet spot for toilet paper there and that has a magnet to hold it against the wall you have your sink here medicine cabinet and window in here as well with 
event fan up there. And let me show you the storage through here, actually. So medicine cabinet storage, magnet to hold that closed, soft close on that, um, black plastic sink, and then storage space down underneath here as well. That will also have a soft closed toilet seat on it. And then as I turn around, you have the Happy Jack bunk system. Right away, I can tell this has a thicker mattress than you normally see on a toy hauler. So love that. You have the um, sofas here that will drop down. So these sofas will come down to this space here. And then they did something interesting where a lot of people are using this as an office space now. So maybe they build, you know, some sort of desk into this system or something like that. They modify the space to what they want. Using these pins here, they actually collaborated with Lippert here to make a system where they can just drop down one side and the other side will stay up. So if you just want to drop down one side, they don't both have to come down together. So that's another really impressive thing. There's also a table up underneath there that you can use in this space. That's a freestanding table as well. And last thing, really, really impressive. I'm going to see if I can find the switch here for the bunk so we can get them to go down. I'll show you the controls over here real quick while I'm looking at that. So you have all your control panels here. This is something you don't normally see in the garage, getting another control panel back in this space. So you can control things back here. You have all of your audio controls for back here. And then you have the dimmer switch for your LED lights on the back of this garage there. Really stinking cool. And what I like about these lights here, I think the only way to do this and do it right is to do the diffuser on the light that gives it that glowing effect. So it's not like a harsh light shining in your face. I don't like when they do these light beams back here and other brands do this where they don't use the diffuser. So it's more of a harsh light shining at you and you can see each individual bead. Plus they do it all the way up along the line of the entire entry door to the garage. So it's not just on the sides, it's also over the top. And it just looks so good when you drop these bunks down. I mean, it lights up the space so much better, makes it have so much more lighting in here. And I just love the way that it looks with all those lights. Again, this is one of those things that everybody has had to copy Brinkley on because it just looks so good. So that is your toy hauler space. It's also worth noting um, there's a magnet latch to catch this door and hold it open. And because of the thick rubber gaskets on here, see these there? When you close this door, it acts as a very good sound barrier for whoever's in this space. So if you're using this as an office, as a spot for kids, whatever, once you close that door, it is going to block out a lot of sound going into your living space. So really impressive with that there as well. Then as we go up to the bedroom, another thing to note, really big steps going up into this area and you have a pullout tray here, which this again just makes a lot of sense. If you're gonna put your shoes on this tray here, then you are able to one, just put your shoes on the tray, slide them back in there. And then when you take your shoes back, you can rinse this off. So you're not getting your flooring dirty. You're getting this dirty and you can just rinse that off easily, making your life easier. Lights underneath the steps as well. Just looks absolutely stunning. And then as we go up this way, you have a handle here and you have dimmer switches for your lights in this kitchen area. So both of these have dimmer switches. But on this touchscreen control panel, you can also see here, if you go to any of your lights here, like your slide awning light, for instance, change the brightness on that and you can put a sleep timer on it as well. And you can do that for every single light in this toy hauler. It is unbelievable. You have so many different controls on this panel here. It's going to control everything on your RV. Plus it will link to your phone as well. So you're going to have a ton of flexibility with controlling your lighting, especially that's, that's the coolest thing is just how you can dim every individual light to whatever level you want on here. And obviously you can control everything else as well. Come up into the bathroom, some really impressive stuff in the bathroom as well. Everybody has had to copy Brinkley and put an LED light in their shower because if you are trying to shower at night, no light is coming through that skylight there. So Brinkley was the first brand to do a light in the shower in a fifth wheel and just makes perfect sense. I love again that it's not just an LED light beam. It has the diffuser on it that makes it look more of like a glowing kind of light and just looks so more aesthetically pleasing. It's a softer light, but it also is very bright and I love it. You have a really nice looking panel here on the back wall for your bathroom. And then you have hooks here for towels. Then check this out. Tons of storage through here. And there's even more like, come on, just so wildly impressive how much storage you're getting in this bathroom. And it's so much more easily accessible. 
and like they could have just because this costs you have to understand every little thing they do is going to cost more money than what we normally see like they could have just done some shelves here and it reaches back but it doesn't give you that same level of separation to your storage and it just costs more money to do that but Brinkley they just don't really care like they're just going to build it right the way that they want it and the price will be what the price is down underneath here you have your trash can hopefully y'all appreciate that i mean i know these toy haulers they are not cheap by any means but it's because they really put the attention and effort into making something really spectacular you have this wavy style molded fiberglass one piece shower and something that really impresses me you have this shower set up in here now i have stepped into dozens of fifth wheel rvs that have this style shower on it this is the first one that i can recall that they actually position this high enough where me being 6'2", the camera's at my eye level, I actually can stand underneath that shower head. Every single thing else that I can think of that I've been in, and it's possible I, you know, maybe am not thinking of something, but it's usually sitting at about my nose to my chin level, and I would have to significantly duck to get under it or use the wand. So love that they position this up higher. You have the skylight in here. Ceiling height to here is probably about six foot six, six foot seven on my tiptoes. My head doesn't even touch it. So you could easily be like six, eight to six, ten and probably fit in here. You have your really nice looking shower setup, uh, spots for soaps here on the wall and lips down underneath there as well. Plus you can fully jump in this shower. It is really solid. And look at the drain system there as well. Just looks really, really nice. You're going to have your sink here. Black faucet has a recessed medicine cabinet there, and that's all metal on the medicine cabinet. And also, really nice lighting in here as well. They actually really thought about the lighting because if you just have one overhead light, it really is going to intensify the shadows on your face. So they add another light here because that's going to offset those shadows. And then you have another backing light as well. So you really get nice lighting in here for seeing yourself in the mirror. It doesn't look weird. It doesn't look, you know, like awkward shadows on your face. Again, just something that they just think the extra things through. Shelving underneath here, all adjustable as well. And even your heating down through here is ran underneath the cabinetry. So no floor vents even in the bathroom or in the bedroom for heat, which sometimes a lot of brands, they'll do no floor vents in the living room, but they have to do vents in the bedroom and bathroom. And so still not seeing that back here either. Dovetail construction on your drawers, magnet latches, and then solid surface countertop. So then that brings us to the bedroom, going back into the bedroom space, king size bed in the bedroom. And this is a nine inch thick mattress. It is like a residential size mattress, very impressive, very comfortable. A lot of people will probably not find themselves needing the up to feel the need to upgrade this mattress. You have shelving space here, curtains on your windows here, and then you have the nice light fixtures up over the bed. Plus you have a window there with the privacy shade. Motion activated lighting underneath the bed. So this actually turned on right when I walked by there. So you can see that there. And it looks like, what's that underneath there, an outlet? Yeah, have an outlet with USB and USB Type-C connection built into the outlet. And then you can see your heat vent comes here through the sidewall, so no heat vent on the floor. Plus, you have this storage underneath the bed, so you'll have four pull-out drawers. And you'll have storage under the bed in general, back through that space as well. Going back to the closet, you have an LED light in the clothing rod. So it looks really, really nice having that extra lighting in here. LED light going down that wall as well. And if you want to install a cordless vacuum, you have a spot that you can do that there. You have an outlet here, so you'll be able to do that. Plus you have all this shelving built into the other side of the closet that looks really nice as well. If you want to do washer and dryer, washer and dryer can go in the garage. There was a white panel along the wall in the garage. I totally forgot to point out but that will be where you can install the washer and dryer or you can do washer and dryer in here as well. So you can have either option. See the washer dryer connections through there and it comes with a collapsible laundry basket up in that top shelf. Plus you're going to have additional storage back through here. So that will all open up back through there like so. And you have a TV installed in the bedroom framed out as well so it just has a clean look to it window here on your campsite and all this storage space down through there with outlets on the side 
And then you'll have hidden storage underneath here as well. There's actually little lips underneath this countertop there. So you can, you can have a spot to grab that. And then that will just slide back and forth and you have that hidden storage. Three pull out drawers that are the same size and then four more beneath that that are all the same size and all magnet latches to hold those shut. You have your AC in here as well that's ducted, so no problem staying cool. Again, all three ACs have heat pumps on them. You're going to have your solar battery monitor or solar and battery monitor here on the wall. Dimmer switches on your lights, so you can dim the lights in the bedroom. And again, all of your lights are dimmable, so just really impressive. Back here behind the door, you have a magnet latch to catch that door. No carpet at all, not even in these little spots right here where we see carpet in a lot of other fifth wheels. And then you have flip down spots there to hang towels, hang jackets, anything like that. And I believe that is everything. Let me go show you all something real quick. So I want to show you the washer dryer connections in the garage so you can understand this a little better. So you have this plate right here and your connections for washer dryer would be behind that spot. Now that is going to be for a combo washer and dryer unit. It's not going to be for a stackable washer and dryer. And the reason why is whenever you have a dryer by itself, you have to vent that dryer somewhere outside of the RV. With the position of this, if you put a dryer here, the only way you can get a vent to go outside of the RV is to run the vent up along the wall. Then you'd have to go over one of these doors, which you can see that is very tight right there, probably not gonna fit. And it may fit over this door, maybe, but then you're gonna have that dryer venting out into your camp space and I mean, maybe theoretically could be done, but you're gonna have a dryer vent going over that door that's just not gonna look good. So would not recommend, but you can do a combo washer dryer unit in this space here. And that is just about everything on this Brinkley Model G 4000. Very curious your thoughts, very curious what you think, if you could see yourself camping or living in something like this and what you like and what you don't like. So let me know down below in the comments. Look forward to hearing from you. And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly unbound.